Sure. Well, I came out to the Bay Area back in 1997 to start working on my PhD here in computer science in the graduate program. And I had become interested in coming out to the Valley because of the fact that in my first job at Bell Communications Research, uh, I was building a ad server and I had ended up coming out to the West Coast on a business trip once per quarter. And I figured there's a lot of interesting things going out there, uh, going on out there. So I came out to Stanford in 1997, uh, started working on my graduate degree for about uh, two years. I did a lot of work together with uh, Dan Bonet, one of the other instructors for the course, uh, as well as my advisor, Hector Garcia Molina. And I had uh, gotten distracted after the first two years. Uh, as, you, as you may remember, back in the late 90s, uh, the internet boom was taking place. And so I decided to uh, join a startup called Yodli, which at the time had uh, you know just a few employees. I joined as the sixth employee, and uh, over you know spending uh, uh, some time away from the graduate program here at Stanford, uh, had uh, seen Yodli grow to become about 200, 250 employees. And uh, unlike most uh, internet businesses that started around that time, Yodli is still around as a company. But I had after that initial time in the Stanford Graduate Program and at Yodley, uh, effectively started doing a ping pong between industry and academia, which has still continued today. So, um, you know, after spending some time at Yodley, I came back and I did finish my PhD here, uh, unlike uh, some smarter graduate students like Larry Page and Sergey Brin of Google, but, uh, but nevertheless, uh, had a lot of fun. Um, I then spent some time uh, at Google. So after finishing the PhD here, I joined Google. I ran uh, part of their security team for uh, a few years and uh, then started uh, Dacian um, with, uh, with some of my co-founders, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, continued to stay involved here with the program at Stanford through SCPD. And so I have enjoyed over the past decade plus just going back and forth between academia and industry. I find it to be a lot of fun to come up with new ideas, to not only write papers about them, but take some subset of those, go out and build um, together with uh, you know, other uh, folks here in the Valley. And uh, you know, I love building software, I love building companies. Um, and it's just been it's just been a lot of fun. Most recently, uh, Dacian has been acquired by Twitter, and we will continue the fight against the cyber criminal community uh, at Twitter as uh, we grow out their ad platform. Sure. So. You know, since 2008, Dacian has been fighting all kinds of cybercrime. Dacian had been helping websites protect uh, their websites against malware infections. Um, in 2010 and 2011, in particular, um, Dacian started helping uh, large ad networks protect their platforms, their ad platforms, from malvertising or malicious advertising, um, and. It turned out that there was um, a lot of common interests that uh, you know we had um, we had with Twitter. Actually, both Dacient and Twitter share an angel investor in common. So Mike Maples, who is known to be uh, a super angel here in the Valley, uh, now runs a, a firm called Floodgate. Uh, Mike Maples uh, effectively introduced the two companies, and we started chatting about you know how. Um, how can uh, Dacient uh, help Twitter? And uh, we just thought that there were so many different ways and there was such a good match um, in between the, the cultures of the companies that, uh, that uh, we, we, we thought a more strategic way of working together made a lot of sense. So, Mobile platforms are, in some ways, still in their infancy. And we've seen in the PC desktop world a whole variety of threats that have occurred over the past decade plus. And all of those threats are not only coming to mobile platforms, but because of the fact that mobile devices have so much more functionality than your average PC. They have cameras, they have uh, microphones, they have GPS, they have SMS. Um, there's, there has been new types of abuse and there will continue to be new types of abuse that are going to target uh, mobile phones and mobile applications. 
And this course, this mobile security course at Stanford, will help developers, project managers, engineers, architects become up to speed on all the different threats that mobile platforms face and will, we hope, help them create mobile applications and mobile operating systems that are more secure than they have been in the past.